So you mentioned that um, the, the university itself has quite a focus on value-add graduates. Yes. So, so could you just uh, give an outline of, of that? We would like to see a typical graduate who is capable of not only knowing the academic insides, as it were, of things, but also has necessary soft skills associated with solving problems. So put the person in a situation, in a company, a real-world situation, tell, tell the person, we have this problem, or we have this client who has this problem. And we need to solve this, and these are the parameters that we have in which we have to solve it within this time, within this budget, or whatever. Or you don't have the parameters even. So the person should be should have enough information and confidence and tools and skills at their disposal to be able to tackle this, to be able to say, yes, let's, let's try doing this. Let's adopt this system. Let, instead of sitting there and waiting for instruction, look, program it in this way. Now, please do that. Now, do this. I mean, that is not the kind of graduate. I'm not saying that uh, some of our students don't, some of our graduates don't end up actually doing that. I mean, we get a wide spectrum over here. We get the very good, we get middle, we get the students that are not, not that high achieving. But uh, we try to instill that philosophy. That is what we are after. So, that, so that's also about instilling a philosophy of business skills, the skills you need to get a job not just the very technical ICT skills. Let's move away from the business word because people don't really like the word business. Let, let, let's call it commercial skills. Mm -hmm. Commercial skills, yes. So that would be around even things like um, managing teams or working in oh, teams. Oh, yes, yes. Knowing what the culture of a team is, how to build a team up, how to work with people, how to make people happy, understand the value of people so that you don't treat people like a machine. Mm -hmm. uh, well, sometimes it's good because machines are treated better than people. So it might work out as good. <laughs> okay, and so all of the courses in the faculty are all taught completely in English as well then? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a regulation, actually. And you mentioned that um, the students, even from about the first year, that they, they find that they're already in demand, even maybe Definitely. two years before graduation. Absolutely, yes. yes. So yes. you haven't found any problem of uh, unemployed ICT graduates? I have never come across an ICT graduate who was unemployed. I can safely say that 100%. In fact, I am always struggling to try to find members of staff, new blood coming in from amongst our old graduates, and it's very difficult because they're all, all taken up.